One of my most requested videos is to talk about my season six Green Arrow bow. One of the neat things about Arrow as a TV series is seeing it evolve and change as, as time goes on. And one thing that's changed prop-wise has been the bow. Now, when Arrow first started out, he had a very kit-bashed or very homemade looking bow that he made on the island in order to be retconned, was kind of handed off to him. But initially, it had this very like homemade look. It had uh, a lot of runes carved into it. It had hinges and uh, straight chalk, all that stuff that if you've been watching my videos for the last little while, you've probably seen that particular video where I talk about uh, how that bow was made and how I made it myself and, and how it, it was a lot of fun actually. It takes a lot of work, a lot of elbow grease, but it's a lot of fun. After that bow, in season two, he got a brand new bow because the previous one had been destroyed. And they used a really cool bow called the Oneida Kestrel, which I've also talked about in my videos that I, that I own. And it was just a, a, a compound looking, it was a compound bow that looked a lot like a recurve bow. You could actually finger shoot. It was really cool. It had a really unique silhouette that really benefited Arrow and it worked for, for many years. However, when season six came around, it was time to change the bow. There's a number of reasons that, that could be, uh, maybe it was time to change it, maybe it was uh, the fact that Kestrel had uh, been purchased by Bass Pro Shops and then they had announced that they were going to be discontinuing the Kestrel and maybe production decided to, you know, prep and move on to another bow. Whatever the reasons actually were, uh, it was time to change the bow. So, which was kind of cool. And the new bow uh, had a much more, almost like a cross, look to it. So you had a bow that looked like it uh, had the same base bow as the original and some techie improvements to it to, to kind of give it a, a unique silhouette which I really liked. One thing I did like as an aside was how when you put the original bow, the season one bow, and the season six bow side by side it did kind of share a lot of elements. Uh, everything from uh, it had these little black pods that looked like you know where the hinges were, it had um, grip tape on it, just those kind of elements really helped make it, I don't know, like a nice little bridge type of bow, and I, I really liked it. So one of the neat things too is the prop master of Arrow would often share pictures on his uh, his own Facebook page, which I will link down here as well below, uh, and would share occasionally share pictures. One thing he did share was some of the proto pictures of this bow. So thanks again to uh, Andrew Pinder of AP Engineering, uh, whose link is also in the description. He started modeling as close parts as he could, and I jumped at the chance to get in on them. I got some resin prints of the parts, and I started crafting and building. Now, it's not a lot of parts for this bow. It's mostly getting them right in the finishing of it. There's a main spot with a carabiner clip on it, which you can still get that carabiner clip just in a different color, which you have to paint or whatnot. And you can attach that to your resin bits, uh, which I end up later doing as well. But also you can um, you can attach a real one or you can just kind of a solid one, based, whichever you would like to do based on the models there. There's the inside piece. Both the carabiner piece and the inside piece both have some kind of runic button aspect to it, which I think was used a couple times in the series. Uh, after that, then you have these cages with this little kind of like block piece uh, that kind of look like, uh, I guess kind of like silencers or just a framework for the bow to kind of even it out. And then you had the pods, which carried over from the original pods from the previous season, uh, season's bows, to kind of give it that kind of like technical rocket launcher. They, they do a couple different things, I think. And then of course, finishing off the grip tape. The bow base was the Rajum Matrix slash Evo bow. You can still kind of get them, they're the junior bows, and you can you can still find them uh, occasionally. Uh, I think they're still making them. They're just, you just have to make sure you get the junior bow. And if you want, you can either paint the black or you can just find the black ones, which is why the Evo ones are kind of cool. I'm not sure if they use those ones for their show or not, but you can kind of do, do whatever you want to do. I ended up using the Evo bow just so that it looked the best, and I didn't have to do any work to it. The next step, basically, of that is sanding all these prints. Uh, depending on what kind of print you get of these pieces, which, again, you can get in the link below, uh, depends how much sanding you do. You really just want to make sure you get a nice and clean finish, and then painting it. So painting it, uh, you know, with the blacks and painting it with the silvers. Finding the right silver might be a little challenging. You do want something kind of gunmetally. Uh, I went with a couple different paints ideas and I used one that you're gonna see here in the video that I think kind of was pretty close and then I uh, replicated it there. Now I did finish this bow in time for WonderCon two years ago, so I know it's a little, uh, this video is maybe a little bit late to have that done, but if you look at the pictures, I think it turned out amazing. Uh, it was really fun to have mainly because of it was lighter. 
I found with the Kestrel bow when I had, like, because I have a real one, it, it was just heavy after a while. A lot of the caution kind of like just feels heavy. I had, you know, all the arrows that were, you know, just a little bit heavier pulling down the shoulders. Plus, you had this bow that you had to carry around. And I found this bow was a nice, relaxing um, weight to it. Nice and light, pretty cool bow. Maybe at some point uh, during these videos, I'll do another shooting video so I can show you shooting with this one. Uh, but other than that, it's like a fairly basic style um, range of bow. All the pieces are added onto it. All the pieces, again, you get from your shop so if you want to get it definitely jump in and get it hopefully the close-ups here encourage that as well so if you have any questions or, or, or thoughts about this bow i'd like to know what you guys think about it how do you like it compared to all the other bows i'm still kind of tied to the very first season bow as well as the uh the Kestrel bow but this one's pretty cool i really like it uh it just gives us like i said something light and techy uh but yeah let me know in the comments below what you guys think anyway thank you so much for subscribing for liking and for tuning back in i know these videos are, are coming back and hopefully i you know, we'll do more and more as we go and some more arrow stuff coming up too. So anyway, guys, thank you so much and we'll see you next time.